Okay, so Mike here, we're doing a tail light on a 2017 Nissan Pathfinder. And the bulb is a little flaky, sometimes uh, it looks like the tail light's not working or, or the running light's not working, you tap on it and it comes back on. So it's a little noisy here, please excuse the noise, but let me show you how this goes. When you pop the rear hatch, you're going to see a panel like this right here, and this pops off. This just has little tabs on it. Careful not to break it, you pop that off. Let me show you what that looks like when it's here. I've got the panel popped off and this exposes the nuts that need to come out, the bolts actually. This is a 10 millimeter socket. So you grab a 10 millimeter and take these screws out right here. Hope you can see this okay. I've taken the two screws out right here that hold the light in place and then you just grab this and swing it out and this whole thing, this whole unit is going to come out as one big piece. And inside of there is going to be the light. So I need two hands for that. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, now let me show you this. This is uh, this, this is really a little scary the first time. I'll just be I'll be frank with you, right? Because you never know is this going to break or something. But this whole unit does pop out, and you gotta you gotta pull on it away from the vehicle a bit, right? And grab it up in the front with a couple fingers if you can. And, and you wanna you wanna just pop that right out away like that. It comes straight out. You can see the little hole right here. And you see the little pin? I get the little pin in the picture here. There it is. See that little pin right there? See that's right on the inside of the housing. So that pin goes goes right in that hole. Right? Well, to get it out of there. You gotta, you gotta kind of pop that out like that, and it comes out. So now I've got the, I've got the entire unit out, and you can see the where the lights go inside. You're just gonna unscrew that, right? It's gonna pop right out, or it's gonna have those little squeeze tabs. Uh, I'll let you know whichever as soon as I can get two hands on this again. But it's a little, it's a little weird, a little scary at first, but that should pop right out of there. You've got the second one of those pins right here that just push in. So that pushes in and that pushes in. But when you're taking the unit out, you gotta you gotta pop that out. So it takes a little bit of force to do that. Um, you know, just be careful. But it can be done. And here you see, I'm gonna replace all the lights because this is uh, too much work to do just one light. So I've got one, two, three light bulbs. I'm just gonna do them all. And I'm going to do both sides and be done with the thing. I won't have to mess with it again. So these all twist out. So you turn these counterclockwise. And that will remove this unit with the bulb inside. This will all come right out of the housing. I'm going to do that for all three of these. So I can put the housing somewhere safe while I replace the bulbs. Okay, so important thing to note. When you get these out, you're going to wonder, how do I know which one goes in which socket. Well these are keyed and there are tabs of different sizes on the housing here and what you want to do is you want to line up the what appears to be the largest tab with the largest hole in the socket and if it goes in and you can lock it then you're in the right one. If you're trying to put it in and you think you've lined up the right tabs and it just won't go in no matter what you do, you're putting it in the wrong one. Now, something else to note is I separated this one from the wiring. Uh, not necessary, actually. I did that, this one came out really easy. The other two, they really require a special tool to not destroy them. So the best thing to do, you're gonna grab the housing firmly and grab the bulb firmly and you're going to separate the two of these. I need two hands to do that, so see you in a minute. So here I have the socket, and here I have the bulb, and these don't appear to be keyed in any way, so you're gonna get the bulb replacement that you need. You're going to firmly insert it back into this housing, and this housing you may or may not have separated from the wiring. If I bring it over here, my others are still attached, so I'm just simply going to remove the bulb and not remove 
the housing from the wiring and go ahead and replace these bulbs it's so much work and you know it seems a little scary taking this apart because you don't know if you're gonna break something so I've got it apart I'm gonna replace all the bulbs and just be done with it I've removed all the bulbs from their sockets and matched them up in the parts store now I'm going with the silver star it's a little bit of an upgrade it's a little more wattage and, uh, and, and a touch more voltage than the standard bulb that comes with the vehicle but they're supposed to be replacements and they're a little whiter light a little brighter so you can see they come in twos anyway so lucky for you you're planning on replacing uh, lights on both sides of the car at the same time because that's really what you should do anyway so here you see the parts that you'll need uh, the silver star is a 7440 7443 and the 2825 and these will replace the bulbs you're pulling out of the taillights on a 2017 Nissan Pathfinder. So let's say you've pulled your bulbs out of the sockets and now it's time to put the new bulbs in and you're asking yourself oh shit oh crap what uh, which bulb goes in which socket how do I know well if you look at the bulbs, you'll notice that one of the bulbs has two electrical connections on each side, and the other bulb has one electrical connection on each side. And when you look at your sockets, it'll be obvious that one of these sockets, as you can see, has one electrical connection on each side and the other socket will show two electrical connections on each side and they're not keyed in anyway it doesn't matter uh, which direction you plug it in so you know whether it goes in this way or you turn it over and it goes in the other it doesn't really matter the orientation as long as it's of course the right bulb for the right socket if I could stand this up and show you that'd be a lot easier so here I've got the single single electrical connection bulb and insert that into the single electrical connection socket and of course I'll do that with a new one that's how you figure out which is which to get the tail light back in place you simply line up those pins that I showed you earlier make sure that you've got those in place correctly make sure your wiring appears to not be in any place where it's going to bind uh, they're pretty short wires so you kind of have to hold the you have to hold the housing close to the car as you insert uh, the sockets and bulbs into the into the uh, housing, and then simply get it aligned straight, as straight as you can, and then apply pressure, push, and those two pins will pop right into place. And then now I'm going to put the screws back in here, and I'll be done with this. I'll actually uh, put the screws back in, and then and then put put this cover plate back on. And this cover plate has two little plastic tabs right here. And you line those up with a couple holes and, and they're slotted, you'll see that. And then, and then you apply pressure on that, you push and it goes right back in. And the same idea is when you're removing this. It's, it's two tabs right there. And really what you're gonna do is you're gonna get your fingers in here and you, you're simply gonna pull on this. But you're gonna try and get your fingers in and, and pull as straight as you can Try not to bend it or, or damage it, but it does pull right out. And, uh, and then I'll be done with one side. I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side. When you're tightening down these screws, these don't go in you know, really tight. They go in until they're firm and the housing is in place. Don't, don't, try, to, don't try to screw those down like they're lug nuts on your tire, okay, on your wheel. They're not. Uh, very lightweight. Just get them in till, till they seat and they're firm and that's it. 